Hello friends and F Troop fans. Steve here at Hillside Memorial Park in Culver City, California. And I'm in the main mausoleum. It's the large mausoleum that you see on the side of the hill on the right hand side once you come in through the front gates. And this is where actor Ben Fromer is laid to rest. His crypt is here near the top of the, the wall just inside the Sanctuary of Peace. Today I'm searching for the grave sites of as many of the cast members as I can find from the classic TV show F Troop and I'm starting my search here. Thanks for joining me on another trip to visit the most memorable cemeteries, memorials, and grave sites. Many of you will remember that actor Ben Fromer played the role of Smokey Bear or Papa Bear on F Troop. He didn't say much, but he made a big impression whenever he was on screen, and he appeared in many of the episodes. F Troop was only on the air for two seasons, from 1965 to 1967, but it's continued to gain in popularity over the decades through reruns and syndication on nostalgia channels like Nick at Night and MeTV. There are only 65 episodes in total, but over the years they've become classic must-see TV. Fromer died in Tarzana, California at the age of 78 on May 9, 1992. So when you come in to the, the front door of the mausoleum, you go upstairs and then go to your left as far as you can go, make a right, come down almost to the end here, and on the left-hand side you'll see the Sanctuary of Peace. And then once you enter this corridor, Ben Fromer's crypt is near the top, second row from the top on the left-hand side. Very easy to find. And before I head on to the grave sites of the next cast members, I'm happy to say that a couple of the actors are still alive. Actor Larry Storch, who played Corporal Randolph Agarn, is now 97 years old. And James Hampton, who played the bumbling bugler, Hannibal Dobbs, is now 83 years old. The other cast members from the show that I was able to find are all buried over the hill in the San Fernando Valley in two different cemeteries. And it's kind of neat that four of them are buried in one of the cemeteries not far from each other. Actor Don Diamond is laid to rest at Eden Memorial Park in Mission Hills. And this is also a Jewish cemetery. His gravesite is located in the Court of Abraham South section at the top of the hill to the far right of the cemetery. I'll pan around so you can get an idea of what the section looks like. In this sitcom about cowboys and Indians, set in the fictional Fort Courage, a U.S. Army outpost in the 1860s Old West, Diamond played the comical Native American Indian Crazy Cat. He was the sidekick to Chief Wild Eagle, who I'll be visiting next. Diamond died from heart failure in Los Angeles at the age of 90 on June 19, 2011. And a few of you might even remember that before his role on F Troop, he was a regular on two other popular TV series. The Adventures of Kit Carson, that ran from 1951 to 1955, and Zorro, which ran from 1957 to 1959. The next four final resting places are all located right here at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in the Hollywood Hills. Even though it already had a GPS, actor Frank Dakova's gravesite took me quite a long time to find. He's located in the Summerland section, which is just outside of the Courts of Remembrance in the Northeast section. That's him on the right, with Don Diamond on the left. Dakova appeared in more than 100 movies and TV shows during his career, but F Troop fans will remember him for his role as Chief Wild Eagle on the series. He died from heart failure at the age of 71 in North Hills, California on October 15, 1981. It's a little bit faded now, but his epitaph is a simple, I love you. The other three final resting places are all located up the hill within the Courts of Remembrance. The ashes of actor Bob Steele, whose real name was Robert Bradbury, are interred here in the Columbarium of Providence just inside the door to the left on the left-hand wall. Still appeared in more than 200 movies and TV shows during his long career, but he may be best remembered for his role as Trooper Duffy on F Troop. He died from emphysema in Burbank, California at the age of 81 on December 21st, 1989. And you may have noticed that Bob's ashes are interred here with his twin brother Bill's ashes. Bill was also an actor and their father Robert Bradbury Sr began his career in silent films as an actor and then went on to direct more than 100 movies and even gave John Wayne his start on the screen. Just a very short distance away, 
On the outdoor columbarium of purity and vigilance wall is the cremation niche of actor Joe Brooks. Brooks appeared in dozens of movies and TV shows during his career, but F Troop fans will remember him as the nearsighted Trooper Vanderbilt on the series. He died in Los Angeles at the age of 83 on December 5th, 2007. And I just happened to notice that Disney animation legend Art Babbitt's niche is diagonally right next to Joe Brooks's niche. Babbitt is credited with creating the Disney character Goofy. He also worked on the Disney animated classic films Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, Pinocchio, Fantasia, Dumbo, and others. And in 2007, he was posthumously named a Disney legend. He died in Los Angeles at the age of 84 on March 4th, 1992. Heading back to the entrance to the Courtyards of Remembrance is the Columbarium of Radiant Dawn, and this is where we'll find the cremation niche of actor Forrest Tucker. Tucker appeared in more than 100 movies and TV shows during his career, and on F Troop played Calvary Sergeant Morgan O'Rourke. He died from lung cancer in Woodland Hills, California at the age of 67 on October 25, 1986. Actress Melody Patterson, who played Wrangler Jane on the series, died on August 20, 2015 in Hollister, Missouri at the age of 66. Her Finding Grave memorial page says the cause of death was multiple organ failure. She was cremated and has no final resting place to visit at this time. Actor and star of the show Ken Berry died from heart complications at the age of 85 in Burbank, California on December 1, 2018. He was also cremated and sadly also has no final resting place to visit at this time. In addition to F Troop, he also starred or appeared regularly on the very popular TV shows Dr. Kildare, Mayberry RFD, The Carol Burnett Show, and Mama's Family. There were a few other actors who appeared regularly on the show, but unfortunately I wasn't able to find any information about their final resting places. So who was your favorite actor or character on the show? I also want to share with you these photos that were sent to me by subscriber Carolyn Christensen. She and her friend Terry Herring recently visited the gravesite of legendary folk singer, songwriter, and social activist Woody Guthrie. Guthrie sadly died at the young age of 55 from complications from Huntington's disease on October 3, 1967 in New York City. He was born in Okima, Oklahoma, and many of his family members are buried here at Highland Cemetery. So even though he was cremated and his ashes were scattered, this is where his cenotaph or grave marker is located with his family. And if you're a baby boomer like me, then you probably also remember his son, Arlo Guthrie, in his 1967 hit song, Alice's Restaurant. It was a Vietnam War draft protest song and the inspiration for the hit 1969 movie of the same name. I still remember watching it at a drive-in movie theater when it first came out. I think it might have even been a double feature with Easy Rider. And it's hard to believe that both movies just celebrated their 50th anniversaries. Thanks, Carolyn, for sharing your cemetery visit with us today and for taking us on another great trip down memory lane. And this week, I'd like to thank my latest Patreon supporters, Isaiah Chavez and Daniel Groth. I also want to thank Rick Whitehead and Daniel Groth for increasing their pledges. Thanks so much, Isaiah, Daniel, and Rick. Your generosity really does help make trips like this possible. If you enjoyed today's show, you might also enjoy these. So until our next trip to the graveyard together, thanks for sharing the memories, everyone.